Hello, Lemon Vapes here again, and we do not wear the same clothes. We're just videotaping these all at the exact same time. Wait, this is a jacket? Well, you're wearing different clothes. I'm not. What are clothes? Anyway, enough with the stupid. We're here with an e-pipe. This was purchased by yours truly, Tommy Marcus, over here. Um, it is a good setup. I mean, look at it. It's a wood finish. I don't know if you can see that. Let's fo get this focused. Focus. There we go. Great wood finish. I mean, all the way around. Where did you get this? It is actually from Limelight Mechanics, which is a very... Um, it's not that well known, actually. Like, every person that I've talked to that vapes, they've never heard of this company. The battery is in here itself. This is the button to push down, uh, just like every other e-cig has, uh, to get everything started. Now, you unscrew this, and in here is the battery. Go ahead. All right. It uses a 1836 uh, sieve. No, no, that's not right. 18350 battery. Um, he's going to pull it out. If you'd like. Here you go. And the battery because itself. I'm actually going to replace it. All right, here you go. All right, so let me giving just... them a little setup and review, ladies yep. and gentlemen. Positive side goes up. Um, so the thing about this, this button, just to start off, since we're on that topic already, it is stainless steel. I, as I recall, and it is a scratch magnet. Um, I taken very good care of this. There are only a few on it right now, but it will get all of your scratches. It will get a bunch of scratches if you're not careful. And there are no misfires with this. Every time I press it, it fires. Um, and yeah, this is a... Um, I don't remember what type of wood this is, but it is the uh, purple orchid version of the uh, different types of styles of pipes that they have. And it looks exactly like a pipe. It has the stem on there, of course. You have a ProTank Mini 2. You have a little adapter for it. You have the collar for the ProTank Mini. And you have the battery and the e-pipe itself. Yeah, first of all, let me just explain what comes with it. So, um, I'll, yeah, just let me get this out. Sorry, the, uh, Jimmy. I accidentally ordered uh, two O-rings on my stem, which was a mistake on my part. Um, you can get it with either two or one O-rings. Um, so, it comes with the stem, you can actually if, well, you have to pay extra for the stem, actually. Um, this is the uh, pff, Honeysuckle Bent stem, which is the most expensive stem on there. And it is a uh, custom pipe, which means that they will uh, make it once you order it. So it will take a while. Um, it takes about three weeks to make and then another week or so to ship here. Um, and so... One, there's a few issues I have with this. Overall, it is very good. It does what I want, but originally it didn't. And let me explain to you exactly what happens. First, I'll show you what comes with it. Um, so it does not come with a battery. It comes with the pipe, obviously. And it also comes with this little ring, which serves as an attachment. It's sort of like another adapter um, to, your, um, to your pipe, which basically you put it on and then you screw the tank on there and you can fit it so it, um, it sits flush on there. Um, so one of the issues here, I'll just put it back together. Um, actually, I'll put this back together. Alex, why don't you give a bit of information about it? All right. So the main thing that we had an issue with starting off with this, well, not me, but him. You had to, he was having an issue with the tank actually staying on there and having an issue with leaking. Now, the issue was solved by getting an attachment uh, for, I forget, it was to uh, get the tank itself uh, to make sure that there was zero space in between the tank and the actual uh, uh, e-pipe itself. So we got that fixed, bought a little uh, attachment for it at uh, Vapor Spot. The thing that I like about it, well, I like the pipe look. I like that idea. I'm, it gives me images of my grandpa when he was still around and had a pipe in his mouth hanging it like this, just sitting there with it, his hand on it like this. And um, it vapes great. Uh, produces a good amount of vapor for a uh, thing that he and I picked up on was to hold down the button and then pull in and give it a second to just like start up. Yeah, uh, that, that mainly has to do with the tank though. You should do yeah. that with all pre-built atomizer tanks anyway. Yeah, 
Uh, well, being the noob that I am, you know, yeah. you've got to pick up on a few things. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, I, it's a comfortable hold. It's a great build. It fits firmly in your hand, as you can see here, wraps around. Uh, gets covered up completely, buttons here. Um, and it's just a good overall vape, you know? Yeah, I mean, the thing I really do enjoy about this specific style, Purple Orchid, is it matches to the to your hand. It has a little uh, contour in it, which makes it so your hand can wrap around it very nicely. And the and your the button is exactly where you would expect it to be. It's just on the top, and you press it. Um, it's a very modern-looking e-pipe. Like there are a bunch of e-pipes out there that are very um, specific to um, their own cardamizers, and I wanted to find one that wasn't. Um, and therein lies the problem. I put it on the Pro Tank too. Now, I put it on the Pro Tank 2, I was using it for a good only 10 minutes or so, and then it just started leaking like crazy, like more than, more than it's supposed to. And I was really curious as to why, so I took that off, I put one of my other tanks on there, a Hyper Tank, and it didn't look that good, I just wanted to see if it still leaked, and indeed it did. So then I used a Cartomizer Tank, and that leaked as well. So I was really confused as to exactly why it was leaking. I am still confused as to why it leaks, but one of the things that I figured out, or at least the thing that I think causes it, is when is the connection from the battery to the actual tank. The connection probably pushes the pin up, leaving some space inside of the uh, atomizer for the um, juice to flow in which means that it goes in, into the center area, touches the battery, goes through the little hole into your mouth. Um, and so basically what ends up happening is you just get a bunch of liquid into your mouth, and I don't exactly understand why. I, I, well, I mean, I just gave an example of why I think, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, so what I ended up doing was I took this to Vapor Spot, and they told me that I should just get an adapter for the uh, Mini to work on. So now, as I will show you, it's the adapter that is actually touching the battery and not the actual tank, which means that there's no pin for it to actually push up. And there, there's no leakage now. There's yeah, no so there's, there's leak. no leaking. There's just as much leaking in this tank now as any other uh, configuration I use with the Pro Tank Mini, which is second to none. So this is the... Uh, hold on. Let me no. see that. Ah, and there, there goes, goes the adapter. Okay, so this is the, um, this is the adapter. It costs like three dollars. It's not that expensive, um, but there lies another problem. And if you are somebody who's very uh, who's looking at not spending terribly a lot of money on a uh, mod, gonna you're not going to want to get this. <laughs> if you're willing, it, uh, it's yeah. Tommy put it. We were talking about it like a few minutes ago. It's a novelty. It's something that you use. It's a social thing. You use it kind of like. I hate to show off. Yeah, that's that, as bad as that might sound. You used it to show off. Well, I mean, who doesn't? You know, like, if you're somebody who likes to vape, why not just show off all the stuff you have? And also, one of the things I do, um, I actually do encourage showing off because it tells, if you're around people who do smoke um, and you're showing this off, they're like, oh, maybe I should get into vaping so I can get this. And yeah, honestly, it's a, good start. it's a very good way to get people onto vaping because a lot of people would see something like this and they'd be really interested in it. Um, I've been afro approached a few times and talked about this, and it's probably switched a few people to it. Um, but let me quickly, Alex, you can continue to talk about the product. I'm going to quickly look up the price. price. All right, so from my end, being the novice that I am with smoking and e-cigs and whatnot, um, I like it, uh, as I've stated before. Um, it's just good. If I, I like it. Uh, would I buy this? You know, as of now, absolutely not. Uh, I'm not interested in spending or shelling out a certain, a good amount of cash. But if it was a lower price, would you buy it? If it like was a lower price? Like, what's the maximum you would spend on this? Maximum I'd spend on a product like this, the entire setup or just the, uh, just... Just everything that came with it. Keep in mind that it's custom made, which is another reason uh, yeah, why it, it costs so much. Yeah, understandable. I'd probably spend a good, I'd probably spend the same amount of price that the eye taste is worth. Probably about $65, $70. That's not me being cheap, that's just me being smart with my money. And well, I mean, like, you know, everybody has their own, you know, priorities. Yeah. And, and honestly, for something, like, 
I use this in the house sometimes, but I don't usually bring it out. Like when I'm driving, I'm not gonna. Put, I don't have yeah. anywhere to put it. Where the? Oh, it's like you know, holding it while you're driving. It's like it doesn't. It it doesn't work. You have simple e sig mods. You have stuff like this, just a regular mod, or another one like this. Simple. You can drive. You can talk on the phone. You can do whatever the hell you want and vape. This pulling this out, it's it's not asking for trouble. It's just it's a hassle. Uh, the one place I would use it would be in Jesus Christ. In my house, probably in the backyard, uh, while I'm having a beer with my dad or just having a beer in general. <laughs> um, yeah, I do that. Uh, so, uh, usage, it's just, as I said, it's a novelty. I mean, you have friends over, you can show it off. Uh, and that's really it. I spent 132 euros on this product, which is about $170, $180 maybe. Um, but Either yeah, way, you spent so a good amount of money. I spent about two hundred dollars on this was it worth just it? to give it personally i had the money and i was wanting to spend it i was wanting to get an e-pipe and it was the one that definitely looked like the most reliable and i've heard a lot of good things about it yes i did i don't i don't necessarily agree with the price just because there's a lot of people out there who don't want to spend that much money on a pipe mod slash a mod in general um and for what i for what it's worth I would spend more like 150 maximum on the entire setup, or just the on the well minus the tank because that's not part of it. But with the with the um, honey sunk honeysuckle bent tip, uh, the battery not the battery the mod itself and that little ring, I would spend about 150 dollars on now, it. Now, now for me, I would probably of course I didn't, but yeah. you know. I'd spend 150 dollars on the entire setup just because I. W I'd rather get it all out of the way and for a decent price. That's just me. I'm fine vaping on the simple stuff, but oh, god damn it, I'm gonna disappear each time. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd rather spend my money on something that's a little bit more user friendly, a little bit more available. All right, so yeah, for me, I'd spend probably about a good 150 on the entire setup just because with I, the Pro Tank Mini. With, yeah, with the tank, with the battery, with the tip. Yeah, just keep in mind it doesn't come with a battery, so yeah. that's another, what, yeah. how much are those batteries? Like ten, mm, like ten dollars? You're getting everything here. Yeah, basically. That, and then, no battery. not the battery. And, and, you know, it's, there's a lot of people out there who would spend that much, I mean, for God's sake, the Proveri, which is like the top of the line, is, you know, $250. Granted, it is made in America, which is why. $250. It's two fi no no sorry two hundred it's about two hundred not two fifty two hundred just that Tax. without the battery, um, but it just this is also handcrafted which being made wherever doesn't matter because it's not being made in a factory some guy is literally sitting in his house making this for you I don't remember his name um, I'm sorry about that but there are a few different I'm looking at the website right now they have good designs and th without any of the attachments like. You know stems or anything each body um can range anywhere from a 89 euros to 129 euros 89 is for the wind chime which is basically a long cylinder and the purple orchid is the 129 dollar 129 euro which is what we which have is right what here. we have right here now overall for me uh, on a scale of one to ten for the entire setup with the tank that's on it which is the pro tank <clears throat> mini 2 uh with the battery that's in it with the adapter everything that's there I would give it, because for usage at home, uh, everything aside, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 just because of the design and nostalgia purposes for me. Uh, it does do a good job for vaping, produces a decent amount of vapor. It uh, flavors tank based on the tank. Uh, but, yeah, but I'd, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. For the guy that owns it, how much would you give it? I would give it a 10 out of 10 because I'm not going to incorporate price into it um, because that's not what I'm... Um, as much as the price does bother me, I did have the money to spend it. Uh, and I'm not trying to sound like I have a lot of money. It's just I saved up for it. I, I did save up for this product. And um, I have a few different mods. Right now I have this um, uh, Chi Yu clone. I have an Evic. I have a MVP. A, a few of those I don't use much anymore. I have, And I have this pipe. And of all of the mods I have, it's definitely the most unique. And it's definitely the one that catches a lot of people's eyes. Um, uh, so yeah, um, I would definitely give it, 
a 10 out of 10. I mean, it performs well, it has good contacts, everything, there's nothing wrong with it. Very good manufacturing, no splinters, the wood is completely clean, it doesn't have, like I said, it doesn't have any splinters in it at all. Smooth. It's very smooth, and it's, um, it's a natural wax, as I recall. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Yeah. But, uh, it's a great setup. Very high quality materials. Yeah. Absolutely the best materials you'll ever find. Um, for the for the tank wall for everything uh, all said and done, I'd say it's probably the best quality that you have. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. For what you pay for, you get quality. Yeah. It was about for me. It was three euros shipping. I live in California, so you can determine that whichever way you want. That's what made it a little bit more expensive. If you live in Europe, I sure it's going to be less. Um, but if you live in the U.S., it's going to be a bit more. Um, but yeah, so that is basically the e-pipe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, while you're, if you want to say up any finishing thoughts, I'm just going to show you vapor one more time. Well, <clears throat> I'll finish up by just reiterating. We are Lemon Vapes. I am Alex. This is Tommy. We are, yeah, we're reviewers. And if you have any products that you'd like us to review, if you have anything you'd like to talk about with uh, regarding the pipe itself, the tank, if you have any suggestions for us to review, if you have any comments about anything, I'm reiterating. If uh, you like the video, if you want to subscribe, subscribe away. We will have many more reviews of tanks, juices, and just overall mods and batteries in general. And hopefully in the future we will be doing giveaways. Um, it is all determined on if you, it's all determined on our community. You know, we're happy to do any review of any product that you want us to do. Yeah. That's really it. Um, and if you also just want to say hi, just, you know, tell us don't if you've done anything. Um, also, below, list um, how long you've been cigarettes free, cigarette free, because we're really interested in seeing who's watching this and how long you got, how you guys are doing with changing to vaping, because that's the number one thing we're trying to do. We're trying yeah. to spread the word of good products so you guys don't go back to smoking cigarettes. And if you haven't, uh, if you never smoke cigarettes like myself, and you're just getting into vaping for a hobby, you know, go ahead, it's fun. Yeah, but don't get into the nicotine unless no, you've... No, no, Don't get into the nicotine no. unless you've been smoking before. And even if you've been smoking, try and get off the nicotine because as much as you get the throat hit some people like, it's not... It's, it's, it's an addiction and addictions cripple you and they hold you back. So, um, yeah, we are Lemon Vapes and this device has just been citrus.